Mike Lossness, I'm from San Clemente. I've been creating artwork, I guess since I was pretty young, um, but I, I really started doing more when I was probably 12 years old. I think surfing and art kind of correlate together. Um, I think that both of them are an expression of what someone's doing. So, you know, every, it's kind of like every surfer rides away differently. Um, I kind of think the same way, whereas anytime anyone wants to pick up a paintbrush, they're going to put it on the paper and do something differently than someone else. You know, it's really hard to recreate art that someone's already done. And I feel it's the same way in surfing. So I feel they kind of correlate in that way where it's just like a, an expression of yourself and, and what you're doing. You know, if, whether you're surfing or you're painting a picture or whatever it is, it's, it's yours and it's the way that you like to do it. A lot of the inspiration for my artwork comes from the beach. Um, you'll notice that in a lot of my paintings, um, there's waves. Um, I like to do like lineups of kind of like something that either maybe it's a little bit of something that I've seen from my travels, or or you know some beach that I might have went to in Australia. I can just remember it or or whatever. And then I always in, like to include animals. So lately, I've been doing a lot of underwater scenes with you know whales and angel fish and just different kinds of fish and stuff because it's just it's been really fun for me. And my favorite medium to use, I've been using it in the last probably three years um, really since I've got more more into doing art um, as opposed to the surfing is uh, using the same things that surfboards are made out of so it's just um, fiberglass cloth, like a regular four ounce cloth, and um, just sanding resin that, you know, it's the same thing that, you know, a surfboard's made of. I just get it from the local place here in town, you know, where you would go get your board, like a Dean fixed or something, you know. I'm using those elements along with acrylic, um, sometimes a little bit of spray paint, but it's mostly acrylic with fiberglass and resin. at the Triple Crown um, was my greatest achievement in art. I got picked by Reef, one of my sponsors, to do the um, poster for their event, the Reef Hawaiian Pro. Reef asked me, they said, hey, do you want to, we know you do artwork, do you want to have a stab at doing this, this poster for us? And I was like, yeah, of course. So I made the painting and, um, you know, I thought it wasn't, I knew it was a big deal, but I didn't know that it was going to kind of be as big as it was because when I got to Hawaii and saw you know, the poster everywhere and all the surf shop windows and, and blown up at the contest scaffolding site, just this huge mural and, you know, they made the trophies were prints of my painting that I had done and it was just a big deal. I mean, I, I was invited to go to Weiland that week and show some of my other artwork and yeah, yeah. to be in a Weiland gallery in, in Hawaii, that was definitely the, when I walked into the gallery and saw my paintings on the wall there, I was like, wow. This is pretty cool. This might this might be a little more than just a hobby. This is getting to be like going somewhere. So it was really neat for me to see, you know, that my art had accomplished, you know, going that far. I would hope that in 10 years my artwork will have grown into like new new styles or new techniques or, you know, di different things that I'm enjoying and you know, hopefully it will be inspired by the places that I've been in the next 10 years and, you know, at the end of the day, hopefully in 10 years, people will still enjoy it. You know, that's kind of what I care about right now.